Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Fujoshi Commentary, your go-to place for anime, manga, and yaoi facts, recommendations, and reviews, all done by yours truly. It's back! Another 10 facts about Inuyasha you may not have known. As always, these lists are gathering subsequent levels of information so that they may come with some spoilers. You have been warned, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. And without further ado, let's get grooving, humans! Number 10, Gender Bent Band of Seven. Did you know that originally when Rumiko Takahashi was creating the character concepts for the Band of Seven, she originally intended for Jokotsu to be a female, to give a little bit more diversity to the Band of Seven. But she ended up changing her mind, stating that, quote, When I started thinking about it, I didn't feel comfortable with having Inuyasha fight and defeat a girl. So at that point, she changed the design to that of a gay man, which actually does work out as homosexuality in the feudal era wasn't particularly uncommon. Number 9, Familiar Voices Ever felt like some of the cameo voices from the episodic characters sounded familiar in Inuyasha? Well, they may be more familiar than you think. Bonkotsu's voice actor Matt Hill may sound similar because he's the same man who provides the voice of Ed from the iconic and most popular beloved cartoon show Ed, Ed and Eddie as Bonehead Ed. He also voices in other shows like Bob the Builder and Courage the Cowardly Dog, just to name a few. Also, Jen Forgey, who plays Bonkotsu's closest aide Jakotsu, also voices Sarah and Naz from Ed, Ed and Eddie as well as the episodic villain in episode 4 of Inuyasha voiced by Andrew Francis, who also voiced Takumi Ichinose from Nana, Chiaki Mamiya from The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Dende from Dragon Ball Z, as well as most notably voicing as Gil from Cartoon Network show Johnny Test, and Shining Armor from My Little Pony. Also, Michael Adamwaite, who voices Byakuya of the Dreams in the final act of Inuyasha, voices Kyosuke Takagura, Junko Satome's boyfriend in Nana. Number 8, Inuyasha Awards and Achievements. In 2001, Inuyasha won the Animage Grand Prix for Best Male Character, and the Inuyasha Manga won the Shokugawan Manga Award for Best Shonen Title of the Year. The New York Times has also featured the manga several times in North America's top-selling manga. The four Inuyasha films throughout the series, Affections Across Time, The Castle Behind the Looking Glass, Swords of an Honorable Ruler, and Fire on the Mystic Island, have all earned together over 20 million US dollars at the Japanese box office, with the first film's DVDs topping the Nielsen's Video Scan Anime's bestseller list for three weeks. Also, in the American Anime Awards from 2007, Inuyasha was a nominee in the categories for Best Cast, Best Anime Feature, and Best Long Series, but lost to Fumato Alchemist and Final Fantasy VII Advent Children. And finally, the English DVDs from the series have sold over 1 million copies ever since March 2003. Number 7, Shishomaru's Appearance while we know Shishomaru is a strong and great demon, have you ever wondered what happens to his armor that constantly has been destroyed throughout the series? Well, Shishomaru's spike pauldron that covers his left shoulder attached to his upper sections of his cuirass and lotus petal flaws is revealed that it simply regenerates through his yoki, which is simply his demonic energy. Also, his armor and clothing resembles that of Chinese clothing rather than the traditional obi and kimonos. This includes his ankle-length boots that resemble that of Chinese foot soldiers' attire. In addition, the huge fur on his back is actually his mokomoko-sama, which is basically his tail and sort of fur that reigns freely when he turns into a full demon, and is just restrained to his right shoulder. Number 6, Family Ties while Inu no Taujo is the only demon blood that runs through Inuyasha's veins, they also do share the same markings as well. When Inuyasha goes full demon, he has two purple stripes that are similarly marked in the same jagged edge as Inu no Taujo's, which are blue on both cheeks. Shishomaru has two magneta stripes on either side of his cheek, like his mother. Maybe Shishomaru's resentment towards Inuyasha runs a little bit deeper than the sword. Number 5. Naraku Samyosho. As ugly and creepy as some of those damn poisonous insects are, did you know technically speaking those insects are actually real or inspired off of real insects in Japan? Those insects from hell are based on the Japanese tiger wasp or more commonly known as the Asian giant hornet. They are also a network of females as the males lack any sort of stinger. 
Also, their stingers can be detrimental and cause huge gaping holes in its victims. So technically, Naraku has the closest thing to a biting harem as he's going to get. Number four, the music. There are seven openings played in the Inuyasha anime series, and 12 endings, all published by Avex Mode along with the individual character themes and two best mixes, a symphonic orchestral version, and movie themes. Also, this blossomed the careers of several artists such as Ayumi Hakamaski, who did music for other anime such as Gravitation, and the now critically acclaimed princess of K-pop, Boa, who has just started her career out in Korea, Japan, and the United States with her hits Every Heart and Amazing Kiss, which were all sung in Korean, Japanese, and English. This served as her gateway to international fame and pop stardom. Number 3, Late Bloomer. Rumiko Takahashi herself never had an interest in comics in her early childhood, and it wasn't until middle school when she decided to become a famous mangaka. She created Inuyasha to also counter out more of the rom-com bubbly titles such as Ranma One Half and Irusei Yatsura as a more soft, violent, and dramatic manga. Number 2, Video Games. Inuyasha has six video game releases, all from the Game Boy Advance to the Nintendo DS. However, only five are available in English translation and sold in the US, as one game in particular for the Game Boy Advance, Inuyasha Naraku's Trap, Invitation to the Forest of Confusion, is only available in Japan. The other US games include Inuyasha Secret of the Cursed Mask and Inuyasha Feudal Fairy Tale Combat for PlayStation 2. Inuyasha A Feudal Fairy Tale for PlayStation, and Inuyasha Secret of the Divine Jewel for Nintendo DS, which I actually own three of these myself. And last but certainly not least, number one, references, references every single place. Now, there are so many references in Inuyasha, it'd take a whole nother video just to point them all out, but here are just a few that I personally have noticed. In episode 128, the cosplays of the cultural festival at Kagome's school are that of Shampoo from Rama, as you can see running away, Detective Conan and his assistant, Dorimon, Shin-chan, and Luffy, preferably his impelled down outfit, from One Piece. Also in episode 90, the cat noodles that were in the store where Inuyasha and Kagome were shopping were a reference back to Ranma One Half's shampoo and her noodle restaurant. In episode 88, there was a crouching tiger hidden dragon reference when Shippo fights the monkey three sprites. And in episode 149, Princess Abby's attacking demon flock are in a direct reference to the Alfred Hitchcock hit The Birds, as the film production team were apparently huge movie buffs. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've yet to do so already, please feel free to like this video and comment your favorite Inuyasha moment. If you think I missed a few facts, which I'm sure I did, as there is plenty of of facts that could be gone over. I have one video highlighting the first set of 10 Inuyasha facts that I did a while back, as well as another Viz Media anime, Nana, that I've done. And if you like more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and test their knowledge. So without further ado, peace, love, and stay grooving, humans.